Hey, Fluff. What'd the doctor say? Well, you're really just sailing right past the pleasantries. Pen, seriously, what did the doctor say? That I most likely have it. Fuck. But I am young and relatively fit. <laughs> I don't have any pre-existing conditions, so all signs point in the direction of me being absolutely fine. What else? Nothing that I couldn't have found on the internet. Basically, continue to self-isolate. Um, call anyone that I may have come in contact with and tell them to self-isolate. Mm -hmm. Take ibuprofen. No, don't take ibuprofen. Take Tylenol for my fever and monitor myself. Monitor yourself? You're not a doctor. How are you so... Shouldn't you go to the hospital or something? She said, if I feel like I'm really struggling to breathe, that I should call her and she will alert the hospital and tell them that I'm coming and possibly infected. This is a nightmare. For some, more than others. We need to keep it in perspective, boo-boo. Yeah, you're right. You're gonna be fine. I am going to be fine. Is there anything I can do? I just feel so far away. I'm good, Fluff. I promise. Oh, you could tell me about your little dick. Not much to report. As soon as there are any dirty details, you'll be the first to know. I better be. I love you. I love you too, Fluff. <gasps> Any chance you're awake? <gasps> of course you're not. <gasps> I'm gonna call just in case. Hello? Hi, I'm sorry. I know you're sleeping. What's going on? Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just... Joe. What's happened? It's silly. I should not have called you. You have called me, and it's probably not silly. Why don't you tell me what's going on then? The doctor thinks that Penn has COVID. Okay. I imagine that you must be really scared right now. She, she is young and healthy. Both of those things are huge positives. Can she get a test? No. She doesn't have any pre-existing conditions, and so far her symptoms are mild. So she's just been told to stay inside and monitor herself. That's fucked. Yeah. I just... I could just use a hug. getting one. I'm hugging you right now. Better? Yeah. Who does everyone have against me in sleep? It's 7.30. So? What, won't you be late for work? Oh, you can't be late if you don't have to go anywhere. What are you doing? I'm preparing an early wake-up call for those wankers downstairs. I'm guessing a friendship with the neighbours is out of the question then? I don't need friends. I'm a medical student. I need sleep. Yes. Well, have you tried talking to them? Have you tried talking to them? Well, you're gonna have to do something other than just, you know, taking free throws with your boots. Yes! Why? <laughs> How's it going? Yeah. 
hell are you anyway? I'm okay, but Joe's sister has the coronavirus. Oh, how about her symptoms? They're pretty mild so far. And she's in New York, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it's a shit show over there. But her sister's young though, right? She'll be okay. Tell Joe to hang in there. I gotta go. Hey, stay safe. You too, sis. Your bed is calling me. This is nice. Gotta love a metaphor. Sorry. I left my coffee in the bathroom. How's your sister? The same. Thanks for asking. So, shouldn't you have a blazer over your pajama top by now? It's 9.30 over there. Actually, I don't have any meetings until 3. And I submitted my design draft last night, so... I'm working from bed. That's cruel. Why cruel? Because you're all cute and in bed and in those tiny shorts. Have you ever done this before? Video chatted with someone in bed? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like all of it. Dating over video chat? No, this is definitely my first time. But have you... Have I... I mean... <sighs> Do you want to text it? <laughs> Have you ever had phone sex? No. Have you? No. I don't think I would know what to do. Me either. But I do know one thing. What's that? I really want to kiss you. Then what would you do? Love the show and don't want to wait for the next episode? You can binge watch the first five episodes at watch .reverie.tv slash OML. And don't forget to follow us on our socials at Dating in Place for all the updates.